Silk Road is back with a new name. Today is Tuesday, October 8th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $23. One Bitcoin is $124. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin and Silver. From friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Check out the fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. That's Sons with a U, the most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today. That's Sons with a U. Sons of Liberty Mint. Com. People in Oakland are proving a logical fallacy. You've probably heard it before. It goes like this. The government provides X. Without the government, we wouldn't have X. It's not true. If people value something, then they will find a way to meet their needs or desires. The government provides police. Without the government, we wouldn't have police. Not so. The people of Oakland have been effectively living without the police for years. Today, in response to the reality around them, three crowdfunding campaigns have begun to fund private police. The campaigns are divided by geography, and they're already about half funded so far, with about two weeks to go. Good for you, people of Oakland, for taking personal responsibility for your own security. You are leading by example and showing others what libertarians have been saying for decades. It's not only possible to provide police with voluntary funding, it actually may be cheaper and a better service, too. $82 per household buys four months of policing from a private firm called VMA Security. Their armed agents will patrol the streets 12 hours a day, five days a week. A common objection to private police is that the poor can't afford it, but this works out to less than a dollar a day. That's a service anyone can afford. And of course, there will be angels who donate more than their fair share, and others who will free ride by contributing nothing. But note that this is already the case with policing today. Many more people receive services than pay for them. What do you think? Is your town ready for a private police force? Had you ever considered how cheap such a service could really be? Share your thoughts on the Peace News Now Facebook page. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Break free from federally controlled money. Trade in Bitcoin. Go to blockchain.info. Bureaucrats in California passed a law nullifying the NDAA, making it the third state to do so. The NDAA is the National Defense Authorization Act, and and it's unpopular because it grants agents of the federal government the authority to detain anyone forever without trial. Do you want to nullify this law where you live? The Tenth Amendment Center has provided model legislation to nullify indefinite detention in each state. The new law not only seeks to nullify the NDAA, but any law allowing the feds to legally kidnap Californians. Go to TenthAmendmentCenter.com to learn what you can do to nullify federal laws in your your state. In other peaceful resistance news, it didn't take more than a few days for former users of the Silk Road to switch to another anonymous online black market called Sheep Marketplace. The website is almost identical to the Silk Road and must be accessed by the Tor browser, which is free. Vendors can set up shop on the website for 150 bucks in Bitcoin. Advocates for decriminalizing drugs say that websites like these provide customers a safer venue and better quality assurance than they would get on the street. Is the sheep marketplace just one of many new Silk Road copycats? Have the feds just cut off the first head of a hydra? Share your thoughts at peacenewsnow.com. A Washington, D.C. bartender charges prices progressively, depending on a customer's level of involvement with the shutdown. Steve Hadley is offering special low prices to those affected by the furlough, and special high prices for Obama and his gang. The same $2 beer costs members of Congress 25 and for Obama, that $2 beer costs $702. The amount Steve will be forced to pay in fines to the IRS for not buying Obamacare, plus $2. Perhaps that's because during this so-called government shutdown, bureaucrats have shut down all the helpful things and kept all the wasteful things open. For example, Obama allowed his wife's website to remain open, while forcing the closure of actual useful websites such as the Amber Alert Service, which tracks missing children. Children. What do you think? Should bar and restaurant owners charge bureaucrats more? Comment on our Facebook page. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.
everyone somewhere inside loves the idea of freedom.